the eyes, nose, ears, and mouth are humanoid. In the left anterior thoracic region is a 10 centimeter wound with jagged edges containing attached cyanotic colored coagulum. <sighs> okay, all right. Place the ring and speak the oath. The oath. Because everybody knows the oath. I used to sing it in camp. I, Hal Jordan, do solemnly swear to pledge allegiance to a lantern that I got from a dying purple alien in a swamp. The epidermis of magenta appears transparent and is extremely thin, allowing visualization of muscles and individual muscle fibers. To infinity and beyond. By the power of Grayskull, what the hell? Come on, if you can find me a hundred miles in the middle of nowhere, you think they no! No, because we're, uh, do you want to get a drink? Can we talk? Yeah. We can talk and drink. My initial analysis. Thank you, Doctor. I don't need to tell you that the mere fact that it's humanoid is extraordinary. It's indicating a convergent evolution. Or perhaps a common ancestor, and the implications of that are staggering. I mean, where did it come from? This could completely change the way that the world views itself. You imagine the way that the public will react to this? Um, but I know that that won't happen. I do. Like yourself, Doctor, I'm a seeker of truth. But the people who pay for facilities like this have other priorities and the power to enforce them. So I keep it a secret. People like us have to work within the system, Doctor. We do the best we can. 